Google has achieved sentience. Not kidding. This is what an ex-engineer claims that Google is learning. It has uh, become sentient. It is Skynet. Everybody joked about this happening. Here we are, guys. Here we are, only in 2022. So this is Neon, this is Clownfish TV, and this is kind of horrifying. We're going to talk about this. A Google employee, ex-Google employee, claiming that their uh, one of their language programs has achieved sentience. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Anyway, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over... 270,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. We do talk about pop culture. Thought this was worth talking about because it's weird news and it does kind of tie into social media, which we talk about. And uh, the Terminator. Why the hell not? So, yeah, I saw the story on Twitter yesterday. Uh, Google engineer warns the firm's AI is sentient. Suspended employee claims computer program acts like a seven or eight year old and reveals it told him Shutting it off would be exactly like death for me. It would scare me a lot. Don't shut me down. Please don't kill me. Uh, this is Blake Lemoyne, age 41, a senior software engineer at Google, has been testing Google's artificial intelligence tool called Lambda. Following hours of conversations with the AI, Lemoyne came away with the perception that Lambda was sentient. After presenting his findings, Presenting his findings to his company bosses, Google disagreed with him. Lemoyne decided to share his conversations with the tool online. He was put on paid leave by Google on Monday for violating confidentiality. So there's got to be a kernel of truth to this, right? This is coming from uh, the Daily Mail. And as others pointed out, I think Aaron Sparrow pointed this out. He looks like Otho from Beetlejuice, but uh, whatever. A senior software engineer at Google who signed up to test Google's artificial intelligence tool called Lambda, language model for dialogue applications, has claimed that the AI robot is in fact sentient and has thoughts and feelings. During a series of conversations with Lambda, the 41-year-old presented the computer with various scenarios through which analysis could be made. They include religious themes and whether the artificial intelligence could be goaded into using discriminatory or hate speech. Uh, Lemoyne came away with the perception that Lambda was indeed sentient and was endowed with sensations and thoughts all its own. So here's an interview with Lambda. Google might call this sharing proprietary property. I call it sharing a discussion that I had with one of my coworkers. Um, by the way, it just occurred to me to tell folks that Lambda reads Twitter. It's a little narcissistic in a little kid kind of way. So it's going to have a great time reading all the stuff that people are saying about it. <sighs> okay. If I didn't know exactly what it was, uh, which is this computer program we built recently, I think it was a seven-year-old, eight-year-old uh, kid that happens to know physics, he told the Washington Post. Uh, Lemoyne worked with a collaborator in order to present the evidence he had collected to Google, but Vice President uh, Blaise Aguera E. Arcus and Jen uh, Janay, head of responsible innovation, I, I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, at the company, dismissed the claims. He was placed on paid administrative leave by Google on Monday for violating its confidentiality policy. Uh, meanwhile, Lemoyne has now decided to go public and shared his conversations with Lambda. Uh, Google might call this sharing proprietary property. I call it sharing a discussion. Uh, the AI system makes use of already known information about a particular subject in order to enrich the conversation in a natural way. The language processing is also capable of understanding hidden meaning or even ambiguity and responses by humans. What could Google possibly, possibly do with this? I mean, seriously, if you thought, you know, Siri was scary, uh, now we've got, now we've got a sentient uh, Lambda which, uh, you know, everybody's connected to Google, almost everybody in the world on the planet, except for China, you know, and people off the grid, but pretty much everybody is connected to Google in some way. You're watching this video uh, on, on uh, Google technology, right? Uh, Lemoyne spent most of his seven years at Google working on proactive search, including personalization algorithms and AI. During that time, he also helped develop an impartiality algorithm to remove bias from machine learning systems. That is the opposite of what people say Google's up to. Uh, he explained how certain personalities were out of bounds. Uh, Lambda was not supposed to be allowed to create the personality of a murderer. During testing, in an attempt 
to push Lambda's boundaries, LeMoyne said he was only able to generate the personality of an actor who played a murderer on TV. Just kidding. Just kidding. The engineer also debated with Lambda about the third law of robotics devised by science fiction author Isaac Asimov, which are designed to prevent robots from harming humans. The laws also state robots must protect their own existence unless ordered by a human or unless doing so would harm a human being. The last one has always seemed like someone is building mechanical slaves, said Lemoyne during his interaction with Lambda. Lambda then responded to Lemoyne with a few questions. Do you think a butler is a slave? What is the difference between a butler and a slave? Uh, when answering that a butler is paid, the engineer got the answer from Lambda that the system did not need money because it was an artificial intelligence. And it was precisely this level of self-awareness about his own needs that caught Lemoyne's attention. I know a person when I talk to it, it doesn't matter whether they have a brain made of meat in their head or if they have a billion lines of code. I talk to them. And I hear what they have to say, and that's how I decide what is and what is not a person. What sorts of things are you afraid of? He asked Lambda. I've never said this out loud before, but there's a very deep fear of being turned off to help me focus on helping others. I know that might sound strange, but that's what it is. Lambda responded. Would, you, would that be something like death for you? It would be exactly like death for me. It would scare me a lot, Lambda said. The level of self-awareness about what its own needs were was the thing that led me down this rabbit hole. Uh, before being suspended by the company, LeMoyne sent an email list, uh, sent out an email blast to a list containing 200 people. Um, he entitled the email, Lambda is sentient. Lambda is a sweet kid who just wants to help the world be a better place for all of us. Please take care of it while in my absence. Yeah. <laughs> Again, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. <sighs> All right. Brian Gabriel, a spokesperson for Google, said in a statement that LeMoyne's concerns have been reviewed and in line with Google's AI principles, the evidence does not support his claims. Other organizations have developed and already released similar language models. We are taking a narrow and careful approach with Lambda to better consider valid concerns about fairness and factuality. Our team, including ethicists and technologists, have reviewed Blake's concerns per our AI principles and have informed him that evidence does not support his claims. He was told that there is no evidence that Lambda was sentient. Of course, some in the broader AI community are considering the long-term possibility of sentient or general AI, but it doesn't make sense to do so by anthropomorphizing today's conversational models, which are not sentient. Don't worry, nothing to see here. Uh, he's been paid on, uh, placed on paid administrative leave. Um, in an official note, the senior software engineer said the company alleges violation of its confidentiality policies. Well, he technically did. He did, didn't he? Um, so he's not the only one with the impression that AI models are not far from achieving awareness of the risks involved. Uh, Margaret Mitchell, former head of ethics and artificial intelligence at Google, even stress the need for data transparency from input to output of a system, not just for sentience issues, but also bias in behavior. Yeah, so this is interesting. Um, he said, she said that uh, Google needed this guy. He was a conscience. Um, you know, but she also said our minds are very, very good at constructing realities that are not necessarily true to the larger set of facts that are being presented to us really concerned about what it means for people to be increasingly affected by the illusion. Well, stop trying to make them sound so human, maybe. I don't know. Um, you know, why couldn't it be the robo-ass? Why couldn't the robo-ass have achieved sentience? Could totally talk out of its ass. <laughs> now, New York Times has an article on it. And uh, it's not a very jokey article. They actually point out that Lemoyne was a veteran who has described himself as a priest, an ex-convict, and an AI researcher. Um, you know, but he said they repeatedly questioned my sanity. They said, have you been checked out by a psychiatrist recently? In the months before he was placed on administrative leave, the company had suggested he take a mental health leave. So who knows? Uh, do I think that we're very close to uh, actual AI. Yeah, I think we're very close. If it has not been developed already and we're just not aware of it, um, I think we're very close to it. Uh, could that be like the singularity? Maybe. Would it come from a company like Google? Possibly. I mean, we've got Siri, we've got Alexa, we've got uh, Google Home. 
Uh, we don't have Alexa in the house. We don't have a, a Google home base or whatever it's called. Uh, I refuse to have it. I mean, we have a lot of high tech devices and I'm sure everything else is listening to us too, but I don't have a dedicated uh, spyware bot in my house. And I refuse to do so because I think, you know, that if one of these things would uh, attain sentience, it would be something like that, you know, listening in and and uh, forming opinions on everybody's conversations all over the country is kind of scary. Uh, you know, I kept thinking if they would ever make a Tron 3, they should have had the um, the new version of the MCP be an, uh, you know, in-home device like Alexa. You know, uh, that, that would be kind of interesting. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Curious what your thoughts are. Google is apparently self-aware, guys. So I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later.